Hello children, welcome to AIMS India's online classes. In today's video, from coding subject, one app, how to make uh, this age converter app that we are going to learn today. So, we are going to create our first app, which is age converter app. So, the idea behind the app is, so we have to enter our age. So, this is the age converter app. If we enter our age in years, if we click this button, calculate your age in days, it should be, the our age should be converted to days. If you click this button, calculate your age into months, our age to be converted to months. If you click this uh, button, calculate your age in weeks, our age to be converted to weeks. So, this is the idea behind our app children. So, the app converts your age into days and months. So, days, months, weeks. So, here, so this, uh, whatever this text is here, these are all labels. Whatever these text headings are there, we call them as labels. So, this uh, label 1, age converter, label 2, convert your age into days and months, enter your age, click the buttons below, years, days, months, weeks. These are all labels, means text headings. For uh, designing the app, we need some elements to run. The elements required here are, are First, all text headings we have to keep. All text headings we have to keep. This uh, age converter. Convert your age into days and months. Enter your age. Click on the buttons below. Years, days, months, weeks. These are all the text headings. These are all the text headings we are going to place in our app. And so these are these empty boxes or text inputs means enter your age. We have to enter our age here. So this is a text input. Text input. And this calculate your age in days, it's a button. This is a button. This is the button. So if you click this button, button one. So, this text input, in text input, first input, whatever age we have kept, it will be converted into days. It will be converted into days. So, how to convert your uh, age into days? One year will be having 365 days. So, 56 into 365 means we have to write a function such that it converts this 56 into days by multiplying with 365. So, this is text input. So, this is also text input. Here, after calculation, whatever value we have got, that will be called here. That will be placed here. And one more button. Calculate your age into months. If you click this button, in first box, whatever age we have entered, it will be converted into months and will be placed here. How to convert into months? Years to be multiplied by 12. Years to be multiplied by 12. So then we will get our age in months. So this is text input. Text input box. And again button. Calculate your age in weeks. Another button for converting age into weeks. So if you click this button, our age to be converted into weeks. So, one year will be having approximately 52 weeks. Approximately 52 weeks. So, 56 into 52. It will be multiplied and will be, answer will be placed here. So, we need some text headings which are called labels. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Means label 1, label 2, label 3, label 4, like that. We will be having some text headings. 
and we will be having some buttons. Button 1, calculate your age into days. Button 2, calculate your age into months. Button 3, calculate your age into weeks. So this is text input. We have to enter our age here. This text input. If you press the button, our age converted into days and will be displayed here. Text input 3, text input 4. Means we need the help of around 8 labels, 4 text inputs, 4 text inputs, 1 for entering our age, 3 for converting into days, months, weeks and we need 3 buttons for converting into days, for converting into months, for converting into weeks. So these elements we need for designing our app. So this is age converter app children, age converter app. So one real time working app we are going to design now. So for designing this uh, uh, age converter app, we are making a use of software called code.org, code.org. It is a coding software for kids. So its uh, URL is HTTPS code.org. So this is the software we are making use, use of it for making this age converter app, age converter app. One minute, right? So let's, uh, let's go to Google. In the search bar, you have to type code.org, code.org and you have to press on enter enter. So this will be displayed here. This will be displayed here. So here in the, if you see here in the right corner, in the top right corner, we are having sign in button. Click on that sign in button. It will ask, it will ask you for your username and password or you can log in with your you can log in with your Google account, Facebook account, Microsoft account. If you have mail ID, better to log in with the mail ID, otherwise Facebook. So continue with Google, continue with Google, with the aims today, mail ID. We are logging in, one, logging it, logging in. It will ask for, uh, wants to access your Google account. So if you go down, their allow button is there. Click on that allow button. So you will be entered into the app. You will be entered into the app. So here you can observe the name here. Google account name Ames India. Ames India. So to the left of it, you will be observing create button. To the left of it, left of it, you will be observing create button for creating projects you have to click on that create button. So create button. You have to click on this create button. Let's click on create button. There you will be having so many uh, types of uh, projects like uh, Sprite Lab, Artist, App Lab, Game Lab, Dance Party, like that so many, so many categories are there. As we are creating app, as we are creating app, let's click on third one, app lab. Means app laboratory. Let's click on that. Let's click on that, app lab. So, this is the screen children. This is the screen. So, this is the screen where you will be creating your app. So, if you zoom it, here you can see code code, design, data. So here, downside, code, design, data. Here, you will be observing on the mobile screen children, screen one. So whatever code or whatever design you will do for your app, it will be displayed here. And if you click on run button, if you click on run button, it will work. You can see the preview of your app. 
now nothing uh, we have written so it is empty so this is the preview of your app in this area you can see the preview and working of your app so next to it we have design toolbox we have design toolbox where we will be having all the elements which are used in designing the screen designing the screen one of the app screen one of the app we are having buttons here button text input labels drop down drop down buttons radio buttons check boxes image canvas screen text area chart slider photo select like this so many tools we are having here in this uh, design toolbox in uh, for for our present app age converter app we are going to make use of buttons text inputs and labels these three only buttons text inputs labels with the help of these three we are going to design our app next next so here this is the workspace children so this is the workspace this is the workspace so here now you are in screen 1 so it will show screen 1 here properties properties of this uh, element this tool it is screen 1 background color is uh, white color if you want you can change the background if you want you can change the background children let's me keep it white and if you want you can choose one image also for the background you can choose your image you can choose your uh, choose uh, upload file you can go to folder and you can upload your photo your image so background will be your image so for screen one you can change background color or you can keep your photo as background image you can do whatever you want so this is the workspace children now we are in design mode that's why it is looking like this after designing part we have to give code for that we have to give code for our for our design whatever design we will do for that we have to give code at the time it will be different workspace will be different toolbox will be different in design mode in design mode toolbox will be having all the design elements you can just drag them and you can keep here and you can just drag them you can keep back in this toolbox from toolbox you can take to the screen you can take to the screen whatever you want you can take to the screen if you don't want you can drag them back if you don't want you can drag them back you can drag them back so this is design mode so when you are in code when you are in code mode in the toolbox it will show the blocks it will show the blocks for writing the code ui means user interface user interface controls data how to get the data control like so many are there which will we will be learning one by one so while uh, giving coding i will explain to you what we are going to use and this is the workspace in the workspace we can drag the blocks we can drag the blocks and we can write the code if you don't want we can you can drag them back into the toolbox while doing the design we will drag the we will drag the elements into the screen into the screen into the screen but while writing the code we will drag the drag the blocks into the workspace into the workspace into the workspace okay children let's uh, start with the design part first let's start with the design part, part first let me maximize you can maximize like this children if you go to this corner you will get arrow marks you can maximize like this because we are doing designing part i am maximizing it so first we need a heading we need a heading for it we need a text heading for it 
for that we need a label label for that we need a label chain on there so let's take one label label here so what is the heading chain age converter app so our first heading is on the screen one our first heading is age converter app we can uh, click and drag it anywhere we can click and drag it anywhere with the help of hand symbol so age converter app age converter app so we can uh, here id is there here id is there children it is telling label 4 because already some of the labels we have selected and we have kept them back so that's why it is taking its name as label 4 label 4 you can keep it like that only label 4 or if you want you can change its uh, name you can change its name or let's keep like that only so okay age converter app next uh, what it will do another heading another heading another text box here so what element you are selecting what elements you are going to select one minute so what elements you are going to select here so that will be displayed here so text text means it's a label file so what it will do converts your age into into days months weeks so we can click it we can click and drag we can drag it we can drag it or if you want we can uh, we can decrease the width we can decrease the width of the box font size also we can decrease font size font size 10 we can increase the width we can increase the width to 300 or 350 so that it will come in one line so like this chalo like this chalo this is a second heading so age converter app converts your age into days months and weeks so now what you have to do first you have to enter your age first you have to enter your age so we have to keep a another label we have to keep another label another label so there what text to be displayed enter your age enter your age enter your age okay so for entering our age we need text input we need text input means which will take text from the user text from the user we can decrease its size text input so enter your age text input so here in this text input we will enter our age so our age will be we have to enter in years so there again one more label we have to keep here so in the text box whatever age we are keeping it will be in years so in the place of text we will mention here years we will mention here years okay children so then so enter your age dash years so how your age you have to enter here so that is one part next sir so next so now after entering your age you need a button 
for converting your age into days. Days or months or weeks. So first days. So you need a button. So let's take one button children. Let's take one button here. Let's take one button. Let's take one button here. Here in the properties button ID is there. Don't change that. It is taking it as button 4. Button 4. And uh, text button is there. In the text part whatever changes we will do will be displayed here. So what this button has to do? Calculate or convert your age into years. Convert your age into years. Let's drag this. Drag this button. Let's move this button. Let's resize this button. Converts your age into years. So now we have got button. If we click this button, in the above box, whatever value we have entered, it will be converted into, sorry, not years, converted into days, converted into days. If you click this button, your age to be converted into days and to be displayed in another box. So for that, we need another text input, another text input, which will display your age in days after calculation. So after that, we need a label telling that in the box whatever value we have, that is the age in days. Let's uh, name it as days. Let's name it as days. Next slide. Now no, you need one more button. One more button. Now you need one more button. So that button, that button, what it will do? What it will do? Convert your age into months. Into months. Let's drag this children. Convert your age into months. Convert your age into months. So after that, after if you click on this button, age to be converted and to be displayed in one box. So for that text input, for that another text input. Let's resize this. So after that, in this box, whatever age we have, it will be in months. So let's take another label, another label and let's change its name as months, months. Now let's take another button children, another button. So what it will do? Convert your age into weeks. Convert your age into weeks. Let's resize the button. Resize the button. Next, if you click this button, answer to be displayed downside. Let's take another text box. Another text box, text input box. Let's resize it. Let's take one more label. Label which tells that your age is in weeks. Your age is in weeks. Okay, children. This is the this is the screen layout, children. Age converter app. It's a age converter app is a uh, label. Converts your age into days, months, weeks. Label. Enter your age. Label. Text input box for entering our age. Next, years. Label. Convert your age into days. Button. Next, text input for taking the value. Next after that days label. Next convert your age into months button. After that text input for taking the age into months. Next months label. Next another button, another text input, another label. So this is the designing part children. Designing part completed. In designing part we have done whatever all requirements are there, we have done. Now, if you click on run, if you click on run, if you enter the age here, text input, 
if you click on convert nothing will show here because we have not written anything we have not written any code for this so that's why it won't run it won't run let's click on reset children reset means it will come back to original position so this will work only after writing the code only after writing the code this will work this run button will work so this is the default theme children if you want if you want you can go here this theme is there no in top right corner you can go there and you can click that and you can change the theme you can change the theme so that whatever designing part we have done it will be changed you can take different themes you can take different themes children like this like this different themes you can apply so i am taking this uh, playtime theme if you want still you can drag and make some changes you can make some changes here right? like this so this playtime theme i am taking so now no we have to write the no we have to write the code code now total whatever up to now we have done it's only designing part designing part now we have to write the coding part for this so that our app will work let's click on this code children so here you are seeing no now design part is highlighted because we are in design mode now we have to click on this code code part so code part now here this toolbox will come with the toolbox all with the blocks it will come so this is workspace where we can draw the blocks into our workspace so here children so here clicking the button here we are having ui controls ui controls means this this is user interface this uh, this user interface we can control with the help of ui control blocks all these blocks all these blocks so clicking the button it's an event children clicking the button it's an event so if we click the button years to be converted into days one minute children uh, let's go to design mode let's uh, uh, keep it in default mode because some of the years days all are changing okay default mode now let's go to code coding part coding part in this uh, ui controls in this uh, ui controls we have this one children on event let's drag this first one let's uh, drag this first one let's uh, resize this to smaller size uh, we can drag it we have to drag the first one children on event so what is our event clicking this button so if you go here it will show if you go to the button if you go to the button it is showing here button 4 button 4 it is showing here its name button 4 means button 4 on event of uh, button 4 you have to click on this here children so let me show you once again let's drag this on event on event block on event block here you are seeing id no if you click this uh, arrow symbol down side arrow symbol here button 4 button 5 button 6 three buttons are there labels labels 10 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 ten labels are there one screen is there text input 2 3 4 5 are there so buttons 4 5 6 in that what is the first button button 4 is the first one on clicking button 4 
on clicking button 4 on button 4 here you are having here you are having aroma children if you click on that click change key up key down key press mouse move, move sorry mouse move mouse down like that so many options are there let's go with click option because we are going to click the button let's go with click option means so if button 4 is clicked one function to be happen that function we have to write here we have to write downside so one function we have to write it downside so what is the function what is the function in this text box so this is a text box two children two three four five so if we click button button four in text box three in text box three in text box 2 whatever value we have entered it should come by multiplying with 365 because one year will be having 365 days so on clicking button 4 if you go to UI, UI controls downside there you are having set text one block with set text so let's drag it children drag it and keep in the middle here keep in the middle here set text means in this uh, text box which text box text box 3 we are setting the text box text in set box 3 set to text in which uh, which box text input 3 text input 3 so in this uh, text input 3 we are setting the text how we are setting the text for setting the text in maths in mass with the help of multiplication this multiply operator is there children so we are taking this multiply operator and we are placing here we have to place here means we are setting the text in uh, this uh, text box with the help of this multiplication operator in multiplication operator first what we have to do first we have to take the value of input 2 this input we have to take the value of this means in ui controls in first box get text id get text let's go on place there go on place there get text get text from where from this input 2 get text from input 2 input 2 and multiply with what you can click and you can text type type there 365 means so when button 4 is clicked what function what function we have written children set text in text input 3 means in this test text input 3 we have to set text in what way with the help of multiplication operator how we have to do multiplication we have to get text from this input 2 and that to be multiplied with 365 and it should be placed in this text box so this is the function for button 4 next for button 5 let i am repeating children for button 5 observe carefully because these blocks are very important this is logic logic we have to understand so then only you can design any app so for writing the function for for writing coding for this button if you go here if you go here if you go here children it is telling button 5 so let's go to button 5 so let's take on event on event block on event block so for which button button 5 when button 5 is clicked what is the function children so we have to set text in this input 4 we have to set text in what input 4 box input 4 box with the help of what with the help of math 
multiply operator multiply operator with the help of math multiply operator in this multiply operator first first multiplicand what we have to take the value in input 2 means in ui controls get text get text and go to this first place get text get text from where this one input 2 input 2 for converting into months one year will be having 12 months so we have to write 12 here so that in years whatever value we have entered it will be multiplied with 12 and will be placed in input 4 place in this box next one in the same way next button button 6 so let's go to ui controls let's take the block take the block on event on event so on event of which button button 6 button 6 button 6 so button 6 click what is the function set text take uh, drag set text you know? set text so text in which one so text in this text box text box input 5 so set text in input 5 with the help of math operator multiplication operator in this first box in this uh, in this first box where cursor is there there in ui controls we have to take get get text get text get text from where from first input 2 from input 2 and how to convert into weeks by multiplying with 52 let's write 52 here now our coding part is completed now our coding part is completed coding part is completed children so now let's uh, rename the app rename the app let's rename it click on rename there it is showing untitled project write the app name so age converter app age converter app let's click on save button children save button so our project is saved our project is saved it will be once it is saved you can go to your login name aims india click on my projects my projects you can come down you can come down here age converter app is there click on publish so click on publish it is published or without publishing you can check first age click on age converter app so whatever designing and coding you have done uh, it will be recorded so now let's run our app children so you have to click on run you have to click on run and you have to enter here enter your age suppose 40 40 40 years now click on this button convert your age into days see 14600 days see if you you have entered 40 years converted into 14600 days next one next one click on convert your age into months see it is display 480 months 40 into 12 480 so next click on convert your age into weeks see 2080 weeks so like that you have designed the app click on reset children now again click on run this time you can enter 25 your age in years it is 25 click on convert your age into days 
convert your age into months, convert your age into weeks. You can cross check. So you can cross check with different, different years, different ages. You can cross check the app children. So in this way, we can design a age converter app with the help of this software code.org and with the help of this uh, app lab with the help of not sprite lab children for designing this app you have to go to app lab app lab section from there only you can design the app okay children if possible you can design the app in this way in this way and you can post your project because after completion of a uh, app you can share, you can share your project and you can copy this link and uh, you can post in Facebook, you can post in Twitter or you can send to phone, your phone or you can copy this code and post wherever you want. So if you are interested children, you can post, you can create this project and uh, you can post this uh, link, your project link in Ames India chart box. So in Ames India chart box, in what way you have designed the app that you can post. So okay children. So that's all for today children. So we have designed the app converter app. That's all for today. So thank you for watching our video. So please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. Thank you children. Have a good day.